Welcome, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. We want to bless you with today's Rhapsody article that is titled, The Mystery of Lights. Our theme scripture is from the book of John chapter 1 verse 5. And it writes, And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The Apostle John gave us the revelation of the incarnate Word. He describes how he, the Word, was in the world, but the world knew him not. He unequivocally declares that God's Word was life, that life being the light of men. In the fifth verse, he continues, And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The word translated comprehend is the Greek katalambano. It means to seize, to attain, and also to overcome. Thus, the light shines in darkness, and the darkness could not attain to its power. It could not overcome, nor seize it. The darkness could not take a hold of or comprehend the mystery of lights. Hallelujah! The darkness could not overpower or overcome light, and still has not. Glory to God! Have you ever turned on the light in a room and the darkness was so thick that it caused the light to recede? That can never happen. No matter the thickness of the darkness, it cannot advance against light. Even if the light is small or a mere flicker, the darkness has to pull apart. This should help you understand who you are when Jesus said, You are the light of the world. That is in Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. Hallelujah. He was talking about your calling as a Christian and you must become conscious of this truth. You are called to light up the darkness in your world, in your sphere of influence. You are that light that darkness cannot comprehend. Perhaps you are a student, a security personnel, a lawyer, a banker, doctor or scientist. You are the light in your community of practice. If there is so much darkness surrounding a subject, you are the one to prefer answers. You are the light in that field, imbued with supernatural ideas and genius for the solutions needed. Hallelujah! Light up your world today. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your moral excellence and your praiseworthy, notable and good deeds and recognize and honor and praise and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Hallelujah! You can see this in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16 in the Amplified Classic Translation. Glory! God made you to shine in this dark world so that kings and nations would come to see the brightness of your light, which is Christ in you. Now, beloved, let us boldly proclaim this confession together. Everywhere I am, and in all that I do, my light shines with so much intensity for the world to see. I openly manifest the glory of God in my world, dispelling, outsting, and expelling darkness and all of the works thereof. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now that the word has come to your spirit, retain it by study and meditation of these scriptures given in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 16 and Ephesians chapter 5 verse 13. Praise the Lord! This life that God has given to us is just filled with unending excitement and joy. Find out more as you engage yourself daily in the Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris Oyahilome, which is available for download in our description and subscribe to this channel. Illuminate those in your sphere of contact today by sharing these videos and messages to them and let them know why it is so important to receive truth from God's Word. Let us know you enjoyed the message by giving us a like and we would love to know how the Rhapsody of Realities has impacted your life in the comments down below. Hallelujah! We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, 
I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.